My name is Safog Sanakis and I'm convener of the Cross School Postgraduate Module Perspectives on Political Economy. And that's a course which forms the heart of three master's programmes across law, politics and business and economics and draws on teaching from experts in political economy from across these three disciplines. I'm also director of one of the master's programmes in which the Perspectives mo module is embedded, which is the LLM MSc programme in law and political economy based in the School of Law. And also taking part in this session with me, I'm delighted to introduce uh, Dr. Ali Gouven of the Politics Department, who convenes the MSc programme in Global Political Economy, and Dr. Luca Andriani of the Business School uh, of the School of Business, Economics and Informatics, who directs the MSc in Business, Political Economy and Society. Hi, Safo, thank you. Now, the purpose of this um, session is to explain the logic behind the module, which rather ambitiously seeks to bring together political economy approaches from quite different disciplines and to tease out the essential commonalities across these disciplines, the nature of, uh, the nature of their treatment by Burke experts also who are taking part in this teaching initiative. Um, so I'll just say a few words about the outline of this session. I'm going to start by saying a few words about how the module fits into the broader research environment on political economy at Birkbeck, about the goals also of the module and the collective goals of its associated programmes, before turning to my colleagues who will be setting out the significance of political economy perspectives in their respective disciplinary areas. And I'll then run through the equivalent for fields of law and criminology. So why perspectives on political economy. It's hugely timely um, for a variety of reasons to be looking at political economy. Obviously, in all of our disciplines, there's long-standing research taking political economy perspectives, but there's been additional scholarly as well as public interest in the connections between politics and the economy and the ramifications in a, in a wide range of issue areas, such as the varieties of inequalities that our societies experience, law and law enforcement and levels and passes and crime. And this um, recognition of both public and scholarly uh, growing interest in political economy led, thanks uh, to in large part to um, Luca Andriani's work, um, to the establishment in 2017 of a Centre for Political Economy and Institutional Studies at Birkbeck. And this was intended and is still intended to foster dialogue between scholars from different, very different methodological traditions and encourage cross-disciplinary collaboration. And our hope with this centre um, is to support the development of a new generation of political economy scholars who are alert to the cross-disciplinary dimensions of the questions they're looking at and researching. So in that vein, this the goal of this module is bringing together staff and students from across the three disciplines and respective programmes for which this module is the linchpin, the module will broaden understanding of political economy amongst a new generation of students and it will encourage you if you choose to take this course and, 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 and the programmes associated with them um, to consider the complexity of political economy approaches and to develop the skills and the confidence to evaluate the contributions of political economy scholarship across different disciplines. So on that note, I'm gonna pass the baton to my colleague, Dr. Ali Gouven, who will shed more light on political economy perspectives in politics. Ali, over to you. Thank you very much, Safo. Uh, my name is Ali Gouven. Uh, I'm a senior lecturer in international relations and international political economy in the Department of Politics here at Birkbeck. And I am the program director for MSc Global Political Economy. Um, uh, I'll say a few things about how the study of political economy will look from within a department of politics, within the broader field of political science. And then I'll say a few things about the expertise that we have in the department of politics on political economy. Uh, and then I'll say a few things about the structure of the program itself. Now, um, uh, politics is sometimes defined as the collective organization of social life and the relations of power that uh, that are associated with with those uh, with the, with that organization. Um, uh, so uh, power is very much at the center of any political analysis that we that we conduct. And um, uh, of course, while power is 
manifested in law, as my my you know, colleague uh, Safo Senakis would 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 uh, tell, or in firm behavior as well. For us political scientists, we look at sources of authority, primarily the national state and uh, international organizations that act as agents of national states and what they do uh, is very significant for us in in that respect especially policy public policy and institutions within which which those policies are embedded um, uh, sometimes a distinction is made between a comparative approach to political economy and an international approach to political economy within especially the uh, politics uh, departments and uh, uh, political scientists. So, um, for instance, if you are interested in how industrial policy is is uh, set in Japan versus the United States or uh, the politics of privatization in the UK under uh, Margaret Thatcher, that would be a more comparative uh, country specific uh, or comparative uh, study approach to political economy whereas if you're interested in as as i am um, how the world bank's policy advice to developing countries has evolved over the past few decades or uh, why so little has been done in the name of international financial regulations in most areas since the global financial crisis of 2007 and 8 that's a distinctly more international political economy approach now the program that that I am directing is uh, leaning towards this this latter focus, but without uh, keeping the significance and centrality of national level processes and dynamics either. Um, so that's that's um, how political economy looks to us as as political scientists. Um, in terms of the Department of Politics, I think. More than a third of our colleagues do have very strong research interests in political economy. Um, my work has been primarily on the politics of international development, um, and I look at international organizations, but also, again, going back to my earlier point, the comparative side of things, I'm interested in emerging countries and their political economy patterns and, and approaches and their, their, their impact on or international politics more broadly. Uh, there's my colleague Dermot Hudson. Uh, Professor Hudson is a specialist in, in European Union politics and especially uh, Eurozone uh, politics, the monetary and economic union um, in the, uh, in, in the um, European Union. Uh, he's also an expert on, on uh, banking politics. Uh, then um, uh, my colleague, Professor Deborah Mabbitt, focuses on public policy uh, with uh, primary interests in welfare uh, politics and, and, and politics of pensions and, and wages and um, uh, issues, issues like that. My colleague David Stein is an expert on the political economy of Africa, in particular the Horn of Africa. Um, uh, my colleague Lisa Tilly, who will be leading the, the politics sessions this year, is an expert on the global political economy of race, gender and class. Also, she also focuses on, on politics of, of ecology and environmental uh, affairs. And then we have several colleagues in the department whose research intersects with political economy concerns, such as uh, Sama Shenden, uh, whose work is on the politics of markets, such as uh, Alex Collas, uh, who works on the international historical uh, sociology and especially on the uh, on the international politics of, of the sea and, and trade to some extent and empires as well. Uh, my colleague Dionysus Dimitrakopoulos uh, has been recently working on fiscal policy in in Greece and and Europe uh, more generally. So we provide, I would imagine, uh, quite a wide variety of expertise uh, in political economy as a department of politics. And just what we study should give you an idea as to the the diversity of of interests within the field itself. Now coming to the program very briefly. Uh, there are um, uh, four modules that students have to take 
and then they have to write a dissertation. The first module is our cross-school uh, joint module perspectives on political economy, which, which Safo convenes, uh, and we contribute to it. Uh, the second module is a politics module. Uh, it's called International Political Economy. It's a year-long module looking at various aspects of global political economy. Uh, and then students do take two option modules, one of which has to be from within the Department of Politics to to underline that that politics focus of the uh, degree itself. Um, and um, in terms of administration, of course, I am the director and our undergraduate uh, administrator, Rachel Lewis. Up here and um, uh, give the uh, the uh, forum back to Safo. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I'm going to hand swiftly on actually um, to Luca, so he can um, tell us about a little bit more about um, perspectives within his field and, of course, the masters that he is um, directing. Uh, over to you, Luca. Okay. Thank you very much, Safo. Thank you for inviting me here. And um, well, my name is Luca Andriani. I'm uh, I'm the program director of the MSc Business, Political Economy and Society, and I'm also the co-director of the Center for Political Economy and Institutional Studies. I will give you uh, a brief description of our explanation about uh, the perspective of political economy, more from an economic and institutional studies perspective. And, and uh, I will uh, essentially take you around uh, also our department uh, of management and how we interlink our research areas with political economy. So my, my presentation will give you a brief introduction to political economy, uh, the interdisciplinary nature of political economy also in relationship to the complex reality, uh, political economy with institutional studies, which is mainly my uh, subject areas, and then I will give you a very brief description of the Department of Management uh, expertise uh, that interlink with political economy and uh, an example of the events that in, uh, in our School of Business uh, like uh, we provide to the students uh, uh, that are related to political economy. Uh, first of all, I mean, I'm, I'm not very keen in give you a dogmatic uh, definition of political economy, but if you think about it uh, a little bit more, is a is a, is a combination or is an intersection between politics and economics, at least from, from our perspective. Uh, it is an area of studies in which we analyze how laws, institutions, uh, regulations, political decisions, innovation dynamics, social norms, and other social forces might constrain or affect the market dynamics in some cases. And might also provide opportunities for market dynamics and vice versa. So if you, if you think about uh, uh, the module of uh, perspective in political economy, that gives you an idea of uh, how many uh, links and bridges between political economy and different other disciplines you, you can create and, and develop. Uh, and, uh, and of course, this uh, interdisciplinary approach is highly consistent with the complexity of the reality. I believe that there is no more appropriate time and period than the current one to analyze the complexity of the reality through a political economic lens. So if you think about uh, the rise of populism, Brexit, uh, the last financial crisis, the trade war between China and US, uh, the potential hopefully not trade war between UK and the EU uh, and the pandemic and, and all how all these uh, factors and events can uh, change or can uh, like uh, affect the evolutions of investment decisions, for example, of uh, trade agreements and how these different trade agreements might impact economic and, uh, and business strategies. So, uh, or how the pandemic as well uh, has impacted uh, the policy decisions and the business strategies. So all these, uh, uh, multidisciplinary perspective of the political economic natures uh, uh, should be taken into account and uh, help uh, policymakers and business decision makers uh, to understand uh, how to go ahead uh, after the months. Uh, 
Now, as I said, uh, my main areas of expertise is more about the interlink between political economy and the institutional studies. And if you think about more institutional theories, then institutions are those set of norms and rules written and unwritten that constrain somehow human behaviors and, and shape social relations. I'm particularly interested in understanding how social norms, uh, trust, and citizens' attitude towards uh, rent-seeking behavior yeah. affects uh, state-citizens' uh, relationship. Uh, so that that is uh, that is my my main uh, area of uh, uh, of expertise. So that's uh, that that is, uh, and then uh, uh, I'm I'm also interested, for example, on how. Uh, citizens' perception of corruption affect their trust towards public institutions and therefore their rule compliance, uh, or how some cultural factors uh, can influence individual uh, uh, propensity to tax evade, or how happiness and uh, quality of life might affect uh, the individual propensity towards, uh, towards corruption. So all these elements uh, are subject of analysis and studies in my uh, master modules of trust, social norms, and institutions. But uh, besides my modules uh, in our department of management, uh, the, there is a larger variety of expertise uh, that bridges with political economy from different perspectives uh, so, and from different subject areas, including corporate governance and responsibility, finance, investment decisions, and financial management, international business and international political economy, business innovation, international technology and social entrepreneurship, or even more business strategies and political economy of work and employment. So there is a quite large uh, variety of modules that uh, we provide uh, within all these subject areas that you might find interested. Um, more uh, within the program structure of the MSc Business, Political Economy and Society, uh, it's an it's a interdepartmental somehow uh, master program. So you will have uh, the main, uh, one of the compulsory modules in the School of Law, which is Perspective of Political Economy. Uh, and then you have uh, uh, two other compulsory modules in the Department of Management. One is research methods and the other one is the dynamics of global, global capitalism. Um, additionally, then you will have 30 credit optional modules from politics and 30 credit optional modules from the Department of Management and Economics, plus uh, the dissertation. Um, now, more broadly, uh, besides the, the modules and the teaching, we also provide a series of uh, initiatives in which, in which we encourage students to take part of. Uh, one of these initiatives is uh, recently launched, it's called Five Minutes, is a new social media initiative uh, that, uh, in which I personally interview each time a different guest expert on issues such as public affairs, business economics, education, social and public life. Uh, so for instance, in the first episode, I interviewed Dr. Federica Rossi on uh, university industry collaborations and any bright future about it. Uh, and in the second episode, uh, I interviewed Dr. Anne Irfan from the University of Oxford uh, on uh, Palestinian refugees in the 21st centuries. What is the, the international community doing about it? Uh, through the CPIs and other uh, research centers, uh, for example, we have been organizing with the uh, University College London and the Loughborough University a mini series of online workshops on uh, um, corruption and informal practices. So, for instance, in the, the next November, we, uh, we will see uh, four a workshop called For Friday for Corruption. So each Friday there will be uh, um, like an event, uh, a mini workshop recorded uh, via Zoom. So the, the 1st of 6th of November will be the Political Economy of Corruption, the 13th of November, Informal Practices, uh, Corruption and Institutional Changes, 
Then we will talk about consequences of corruption, the 20th of November, and the 27th of, of November, we will talk about bribery, antisocial behavior, and local governance. Uh, of course, for further information, you can contact me anytime. Uh, the Center for uh, Innovation Management Research uh, organizes a series of debates on public policy, for example. Uh, October, the 14th of October, there will be a public debate on the technological rise in China. And then for the November, there will be a public debate on welfare state facilitators or inhibitors of entrepreneurship. Uh, so this is pretty much uh, a very general and hopefully uh, broad description of the political economic perspective from the School of Business and mainly from the Department of Management. Um, I thank you very much for uh, viewing this video and uh, really wish a big good luck uh, to all our current students and future students. And now I give back the word to Safa. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Luca. That's um, terrific. And, and you've both given such a great um, overview, I think, of the expertise and related modules, obviously, which students will be able to take um, if they access uh, our programmes, which are allowing students to take courses from across these schools. Uh, so I'm going to say a few words now on how this all uh, um, transposes in the field of law and criminology. How, what are po political economy perspectives doing there? Well, there's a long tradition in radical and critical law and socio-legal scholarship addressing the importance of class-based, racial and gender-based inequalities um, to the manufacture and the implementation and interpretation and the impact of law and its practice still sm uh, small but growing internationally and this scholarship has um, often been comparative that is comparing states or looking within a single state um, and use as, that can be used as a basis from comparative international analysis um, but also increasingly looking at the international global level and looking at how those sorts of relations play out there too and Birkbeck Law School has a long uh, long-standing and strong uh, research strength in uh, political economy and a reputation for critical, radical, interdisciplinary approaches to legal theory and law in practice more generally. But to give you an idea of the range, this is just a selection of the staff who, who employ political economy perspectives quite centrally to their research. Um, I'll start off uh, with Michelle, Professor Michelle Everson, who works on regulatory law, um, especially the financial services. Um, then there's Bill, Professor Bill Bowring, who teaches on the perspectives course, um, who looks at international human rights law and its politico-economic underpinnings and consequences. We have Professor Adam Geary, who again teaches on the perspectives module, whose expertise is in poverty law and social justice. Um, then there is Kojo, Dr. Kojo Koram, who looks at law and empire, particularly through the global war on drugs. And again, he is teaching on our program. We have Professor Fiona McMillan. She looks at international economic law, especially in relation to, for example, cultural property and the ways in which colonial legacies continue to impinge on that. And then there's my own work from the criminology side. Uh, now, criminology has often been talked of as a, as a rendezvous discipline. Um, and I uh, and this is certainly um, something that is reflected in my work too. So I engage with levels and patterns of crime and punishment in the form of imprisonment, largely not just street level crime, but also organized and white collar crime and in relation to politico economic trends and looking at those from comparative perspectives, but also thinking about um, the political determinants of criminal justice policies and practices and the socioeconomic inequalities, the foundational and consequential to criminal justice policy formulation and implementation. And that means policy construction, not just within a state or within a particular jurisdiction, um, but um, cross jurisdictionally. So what is the impact of strong states setting up um, 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 criminal justice norms and how effective are they in transmitting those norms abroad? And so thirdly, then the changing relationship between markets, political organizations and institutions over time and illegality. So the fluctuation in positive and negative relations between states and illicit actors over time and the concomitant undulation of efforts to either prohibit or legalize um, trade and services over time. 
So as director of the LLM MSc program in law and political economy, which uh, which draws on this um, perspective and political economy module, um, I will um, sum up the uh, uh, structure of that. Uh, so we have the perspectives module, which is the core, but we also have an, a core which is critical perspectives on law and um, society approaches. And that really is an opportunity to see how staff across the law school have um, have chosen different methodological approaches um, to the subject uh, and their particular focus of inquiry. So a very wide ranging um, um, review of different method methods employed by research in the law school that will hopefully inspire students and get them thinking about how they may be able to take their own research forward. We also have a core component, which is a research project uh, for which you are given supervision. And then you have uh, the options that you can choose from either within the law school or beyond. Um, and so long as you have a preponderance of uh, modules from within the law school, which undoubtedly you will because of the cause, um, then, then that is what we require for the program. So how do all these um, um, elements of political economy approaches tie together? Um, I think it's very difficult to generalize, uh, but obviously there is concern across all our schools with questions of within and cross country inequalities, inequalities, whether these relate to socioeconomic class um, and as those intersect with issues of race and gender. Um, and these seem to be at the essence really of what drives our disparate research agendas, but at the same time unite them. And it's not about taking these intersections for granted in any way or being deterministic about how they intersect, but about interrogating those interactions and their impact. No doubt you will or you have uh, your own sense of what the inequalities are and the importance of them uh, that drive you to want to explore these themes in more depth. And I hope that's exactly what this module and the associated programs will help you do whilst inspiring you to consider analytical lean, uh, leads and framings that you might not yet have come across. And one of the reasons why I, I really do believe, and I'm sure my colleagues will uh, um, chime in on this, um, that, that this is going to be an inspiring uh, experience for you if you come and join us for this programme and the module, is because uh, this whole initiative to work on political economy and bring it to the fore collaboratively uh, within Birkbeck comes from the enthusiasm and commitment we each feel to these topics. We have come together um, uh, really driven by our own enthusiasm for the topic. And I very much hope and believe that's something we will convey to you in our teaching. Um, again, in terms of the events across our departments, which uh, hoped we hope will continue to fuel and push your ideas and understanding about uh, political economy even more broadly, each of our schools has research centers and events, and any that are of uh, relevance to you will certainly be advertising. And we hope uh, that uh, you will find it a very rich experience. At the end of this um, session, you, I will have a slide which will direct you to our departments and also uh, our email so that you can get in touch if you have any questions that you'd like to pose about the module or about the programs. But I'd like at this point to very much thank you for watching and to my colleagues for participating in this um, session all about perspectives on political economy at Birkbeck. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, Safa. Thank you. Luca. Thank you, Ali. Thank you.